ضيوفنا في هذه الجلسة الرابعة مختلفون قليلا إنهم مجموعة من الطلبة من دول مختلفة عاشوا الجائحة وتعايشوا معها تعلموا منها وامتلكوا مهارات متعددة وأحبوا أن ينقلوا إلينا تجربتهم وما تعلموه فهل كانت تجربتهم أثناء الجائحة متشابهة؟ كيف يرون مدارس المستقبل؟ وما توقعاتهم؟ الطالبة جنى صبري من الأردن طالبة في الصف التاسع ستقوم مشكورة بإدارة هذه الجلسة الحوارية تحاور من خلالها مجموعة من الطلبة من بلدان مختلفة الولايات المتحدة وجمهورية تشيك والبرازيل وماليزيا Next session is the session we have all been waiting for. What do students tell us about the skills they gained during the pandemic? Although our presenters are from different continents, have they shared the same experience during the pandemic? How do students see the future of education? Jenna Sabri, a ninth grader from Jordan, uh, will be moderating the next session to hear the insights and highlighting perspectives of students from the USA, the Czech Republic, Brazil, and Malaysia. Please, Jenna. Hello, uh, my name is Jenna Sabri. I'm a ninth grader from Jordan. Uh, I study in the New English School, and I am very excited and delighted to be here. Um, we all know that this pandemic has been very difficult on us. We had to get accustomed to all the changes happening around us. We mainly focus on the negative part of things, but if, you, but if you look deeper, you'll notice that this experience truly was life-changing for all of us. We learned to adapt to new circumstances. That is why we are here today, to highlight the productive and positive things this pandemic has taught us from an education perspective and a personal one too. Um, I would like to start off by having my fellow panelists Introduce themselves. McDaniel, would you like to start? Hello, everyone. My name is McDaniel. I am from Malaysia and I currently study in SMK Moroton. That's very interesting. Um, what time is it in Malaysia right now? Oh, it's 11 15 a.m. Really oh. late in the night. <laughs> um, Harry, would you like to go next? My name's Harry. I'm British, but I live in the Czech Republic and I'm 16 years old. Lavinia. My name's Lavinia. I am Brazilian. I have, I was born in South Africa and I lived in Brazil, the UK, Jordan and in Brazil again. Um, I'm 15 years old and I'm currently in a British school in Brazil called St. Paul's. And I'm very excited to be here. That's great. Uh, Yusuf? Hey, my name is Yusuf. I'm a freshman in high school. I go to a high school in Oak Lawn. I'm 14 years old, and I'm actually very excited to be here today. Um, starting off, um, I would like to ask Harry, um, what skills have you gained during COVID? What do you feel like um, COVID gave you a chance to, let's say, um, gain certain skills, what would these skills be? Um, across the course of the pandemic, I learned a numerous amount of skills. And I think the key skill, which I believe to be the most important to me, was learning how to adapt. Because when COVID first started, nobody knew how long it would take for schools to reopen. Even now, 19 months later, it is hard to predict when the cases will rise or fall and what method of, of learning we'll do in the next few weeks. Nobody really knows what's happening and students have to know how to adapt and how to be more flexible. For example, during my IGTSE course, nobody knew whether it'd be possible to complete our final exams or not. And students such as myself had to be mentally prepared for all the possible outcomes. At the start, everyone was telling me that I'd have to be prepared for a final exam, but I ended up having to provide evidence. And in addition to that, the transition between online learning to in-person learning, I think was very difficult to most students. But over the course of the pandemic, we learned how to adapt, how to, how to deal with the unpredictability and thrive no matter how COVID affected us. 
And this adaptation was used both in and outside of the classroom. But I think academically, it was really something which we did not see before the pandemic. Another thing that COVID provided me with was no other choice but to plan my time. This skill may be overlooked by many, but I feel it is vastly crucial to have a plan between balancing school and out of school time to maximize your academic output. With the introduction of many measures such as total lockdowns, it was easy to be distracted and hard to stay disciplined. Being in your bedroom all day and being expected to complete all your schoolwork is certainly challenging, but many of us learned how to manage our times. Finally, I learned how to be more independent. Distance learning can only provide a certain amount of support and it can be challenging for introverted students to receive this support. I had to be more accountable for myself since no one else was checking up on me. My education was fully my responsibility and I learned how to manage it independently. Wow, Harry, wonderful words. I totally agree. Lavinia, uh, would you like to uh, add anything to what Harry said? Throughout the pandemic, we developed resilience and adapting skills, like trying to focus on our online classes. So when we were having classes online, you have your phone next to you and you become distracted and you have your whole house around you. So, and throughout the pandemic, we learned how to deal with that and organize ourselves better. In addition to that, um, I learned how to share my school with my home environment. At home, you will usually be there to relax and there's sofa, there are things to um, like television, your bed, things to distract you. So school is like a different universe to your house. So before I didn't feel like they combined well. However, with this pandemic, I had to adapt to having to do school for the entire day at home. And for that, I had to go to a table, organize, my books and focus and I also learned throughout the pandemic that I was a, I learned how to value socializing more and being with friends and also became more open to talk in class even though it was hard to get used to online class to personal class outside after online class but I've learned how to adapt again to classes personally and um, be able to talk more in class. I agree. Um, I really think that a big part of online learning and um, distance learning is discipline. Um, having your house, being in your house, your comfort place and also managing to study and have a, a professional, let's say, working environment can be really hard to balance. Um, Youssef, would you like to add something? Can you give me one second? Uh, okay, then McDonald, you can go. Uh, the one thing I noted about myself from uh, lockdowns, I think, is that COVID pushed me to work harder. What I mean by COVID pushed me to work harder is that, you know, in school, teachers, like, don't give you everything. I mean, like, when they teach you, like, you're getting, like, 50% of the knowledge from them and 50% 50 50 of the knowledge from yourself. So you have to work harder during this time. It also motivated me to do some house chores, help out my mom. And also, and also this year, it also motivated me to study even harder, to get better grades, and also like that. And then another thing is, it teach me how to be resourceful. Resource, resourceful in the sense that I had to make good of what I had in my hands. So one of those things I had in my hands was the internet. I never imagined that uh, I would ever use the internet in my studies before this. But now I can use the internet to get like materials to study, to get some really good notes while surfing the internet and also really improve my subjects such as mathematics after getting notes about trigonometry and following online courses with really good teachers from all parts of my country. So yeah. That is great. Um, COVID really did give us the opportunity to find uh, new resources to study from. And it really showed us that there is no limit to education. Um, you can keep on researching and researching and learning more, even if um, school doesn't really give you, uh, gives you a certain amount of information. You can really educate yourself by using the internet. You have so much access to um, the internet. We can use that for a beneficial way. 
Um, Yusuf, would you like to say or add something to what McDaniel said? Oh, yeah, I totally agree with him, though. Um, would you like to add um, to what he said? Um, you know, what skills have you gained during COVID? Things that were beneficial that you felt like you... Most of us usually had some difficult time because we were at home with our phones, with our Xboxes, Playstations, and all of our like gaming setups or whatever. It was difficult for most of us because we were all tempted not to go on our devices, trying to do our work instead. We all tried not to touch our phones, not to go on our uh, devices. Really though, we shouldn't, yeah, we shouldn't have done that though. But most of us learned how to get better at something that we were never good at. Spending the time alone with no one and nothing made us like focus on ourselves a little bit. So while we were alone, while we had no one to talk to, most of us were just focused on our homework, focused on our assignments, trying to get better at something we know we aren't good at, trying to do uh a little good for our assignments because most of us would just skip it and just do whatever they want. But some of us would try as hard as we can to follow up at home with all the difficulties going around COVID, uh, pandemic and quarantine. There was no way we can go back to school for a whole while. No one thought when it would end, no one believed how long it would be. But we, if some people tried, some people didn't. But I believe we should all try no matter what would happen in the world. That is great. Uh, I also think uh, the pandemic gave us a chance to really self-discover and, for example, find new hobbies uh, and work on relationships with family and friends and just have some personal time to work on ourselves and better ourselves. Um, starting with the next question, um, I would like to ask Youssef, as a student, how would you expect the education system to change? How would you want your teachers to, let's say, um, change their style of learning to help you understand more? What do you feel like would be beneficial? Some, some teachers hand out paperwork and just hand out assignments, but after that, they just sit down and do what they want to do. Some teachers don't really teach. They just give away and expect us to do an amazing job on it. So I believe that some teachers should like stand up explain what we're doing and just walk by us like help us one by one and personally it's it's not really helping the students when they just hand out the work and just sit down on their desk uh it happened to me last year where my teacher would just go on their phone when they passed it out and i would be confused i would raise my hand and everything but he would never really help so i believe that teacher should like actually teach more instead of just handing out papers and just like going to the desk. I believe that they should go up, like give us hope, like so we can uh, give us hope to believe what we can do so we can actually grow as a person, as a human. I believe they should stand up, teach, give us hope, make us believe what we can do and that's it, really. I agree. Um, I really do think teachers should be a backbone and helping hand to their students. Lavinia, would you like to add anything? After the dynamic, I meant I've noticed that there was a more dynamic method method of teaching, and we had access to a hybrid model. So this facilitate, facilitates our learning as, for example, if a person te is temporarily unable to go to school or they live too far away, uh, they can use some days of the week with online classes, although it's not ideal, but it's a new resource that we all learned to use. For example, when I was in another country in Jordan, I did the interview and tests to enter my British school in Brazil online in the beginning of the pandemic. And when I was in Brazil in August, 2020, I watched classes online in another, in another city, 1,500 kilometers away from the city my school was in. And it was really useful. And 
it's a great dynamic way like and we've learned this the teachers learned different ways of teaching the students after this pandemic which i think are skills that we can bring throughout our life in schools i 100 percent agree um mcdanian do you have anything to add or anything to say uh just now when yourself was talking i completely agree what he said uh, i wish the teachers could be more uh, interesting and engaging instead of just the person you meet uh on monday to friday just giving you work and everything. I want it to be more interesting and engaging. And also, you know, when they teach, I, I really want them to care that you understand and really they have the willpower to make sure they empower you. So, yeah. Yeah, so you would like for your teachers to know to get to know you on a more personal level yes. and to alter your education based on how you respond as a student. Yes. Okay, Harry, do you have something to add? Yes, I think in the future, I expect the education system to have many more potential options, as Lavinia said, like compared to pre-COVID. I think online schools may be more suited to students with maybe more shy personalities, and I believe that they can become more popular. And schools also now just have the option to make events such as extracurricular clubs online to appeal to more students believe that the education system will be will stay in person i believe in-person learning is generally most effective and i cannot see that changing anytime soon but the pandemic also gives schools more reason to take care of their school facilities whether that's to do with hygiene or anything to do with providing students with more space of course support is needed and the pandemic has really shown that because many people might have Felt a lot of pressure from the pandemic but it just shows how school can be quite dramatic and you need your teachers to be there for you and of course all of this is easy to say and hard to proceed with however i believe that the pandemic is a potential catalyst for change that's great um as students, um, the future sounds scary for all of us. Uh, how, how do you think schools can help uh, prepare us for the unknown future? What do you think schools can add um, uh, and teach us to help us prepare and to help make our future sound less scary? Um, Harry? For me, I think it's quite, it's already quite a difficult job for teachers to help students because teaching is a challenging job as it is but i think schools should attempt to personalize subjects even more to cater to students needs and to provide them with more subjects that they could genuinely enjoy because from my experience with all my friends anyone i know i think students thrive when they're when they're completing work in a subject that they genuinely enjoy or they're interested in because they're more likely to work they want to put more hard work in and they can actually see themselves having a future with it. Obviously, this is already used, but making it even more personalized would be better. And I think it just would give people more of a positive outlook on education and would allow them to develop their interests while still working hard. Um, Lavinia, what do you think? I think that the future is completely unknown and many professions will cease to exist and other new professions will emerge. Uh, no schools know what to do exactly, but the teachers will learn how to do new things and have new skills. The only thing we'll be able to do is to think and analyze the new circumstances. So in the new future, the students and teachers will learn how to adapt to a new reality. And I think that teachers can help us have a capacity of analyzing better and help the students think critically about the available information there is throughout the years. Uh, McDaniel and Yusuf, do you have anything to add to Harry and Lavinia? I totally agree with Harry, because uh, most of us are doing subjects that we aren't very good at. So I believe that schools should give a uh, give us schedules that that can help us slowly. Uh, how do I say? What's the word? That can help us slowly in get engaged to another subject. So some people, 
Well, yeah, I just agree with Harry about what I said. Yeah, uh, it should be a little easier if schools gave us some subjects that we're good at and helped us uh, slowly engage to another subject. So they wouldn't just put it on our plate and expect us to do the, the very best out of everyone else. Um, I agree. I think schools should um, understand that we all have strengths and weaknesses in specific subjects. And let's say uh, they should highlight the strengths of uh, some students in specific subjects. Let's say a student is better at math. They should focus um, their strength on math and not just give everyone such a limited, um, you know, let's say curriculum. Um, McDaniel, do you have anything to add? Um, I really think school should train us like to be more resilient, train us to be more strong. But again, this is not an easy task because individual beings are different in every way possible and the future is unknown. But I, I think school should uh, teach us like if let's say if there's another lockdown or what, they should teach us how to uh, what was that word again? Uh, learn better in this kind of environment or in another different environment. And yeah, that's what I say. Um, a lot of us have uh, returned back to normal schooling um, and a lot of us find it overwhelming now. How do you feel if you have returned back to normal schooling? How do you feel about going back and um, having normal learning again and face-to-face -face classes, Harry? I feel much more relieved personally because I found distance learning very challenging. And despite me learning a lot in, in the course of the pandemic through distance learning, being resilient, learning how to adapt, I was just very relieved that school reopened. I find it a lot better to see my classmates and my teachers in person. I find it easier to learn. I find it easier for my teachers to understand how I'm doing. Same with my classmates. It's nice being in a group of people in person rather than just seeing them through a screen. You feel a lot more, feel a lot more part of a group and you feel a lot more motivated to complete schoolwork. And it's also nice to have a change instead of just being in your bedroom all the time. And I think in-person learning was a relief now that I'm back at school. Um, uh, uh, Lavinia? Would you like to add? Yeah, um, as students, um, it's essential for us to socialize more and to be able to have that those social skills that not only are important for our personal life, but for our uh, work life also in the future. So I think that the pandemic, um, us already going to school is extremely important for us to be able to focus and ask the teachers especially if we're shy or things like we learn how to talk to the teachers better and to like share our thoughts and our ideas in class and just going back to being with friends which I think is an essential skill for our everyday life. Um, I agree. Uh, some people find it overwhelming to have this sudden change. I mean, we've been, most of us have been on distance learning for like a year, maybe two, and it can be overwhelming for some students to go back um, and let's say socialize and have a normal classroom. Um, McDaniel, are you uh, back to, um, uh, are you still on distance learning or are you back to normal schooling? Uh, currently, I'm still in distance learning because the cases in Malaysia, not to say going up, not to say going down also. So I'm currently in, still in distance learning. But if you ask me 100%, I really want to go back to school because I miss socializing my friends and I also feel generally the teachers teach better at school compared to teaching online. And that, that is why I really want to go back to school. Um, uh, that's great, and I hope you can get to go back to school soon. Uh, Yousef, are you still on online, or are you back to face-to-face -face school? And if you are back, how does that make you feel? Yeah, I'm, I'm back in school. And uh, at first, it was, it was exciting and scary, because while we were at distance learning, most of us were shy to put on our cameras and unmute our mics. But when we 
in school, no one was shy whatsoever to talk out loud without their mask on and everything. So when we were back, it felt amazing talking to my friends, talking to my teachers, getting help from them face to face. At first, yes, it was overwhelming, but day after day, it got better and better because I got my teachers, I got my friends, I got my friends there to talk to them, and I got my my teachers to help me with all my schoolwork. So I believe it's an amazing uh, feeling to go back to school after everything is over. It really is interesting to see how people from different parts of the world can have such similar yet different um, experiences with um, distance learning. Um, in the first question, we highlighted the skills that we have gained during COVID. And we realized that this pandemic has really given people the chance to evolve um, from finding new hobbies, to reconnecting with family, to becoming more self-sufficient individuals, um, to having the opportunity to self-discover. So uh, I really think if you have a positive mindset uh, and you look at this pandemic from a optimistic point of view, you'll really notice that COVID has given us a chance to evolve and become better versions of ourselves.